plant, saba, viola. Welcome back to another episode of Why Viola. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about changing your strings. I use Yarger strings. Ah! Yarger superiors. I find them to be really, really good. Strong, stable. You can play loud, you can play hard, you can play flautando, you can get all sorts of different colors. And I've had these strings on for about two to three months, I think about two months, and they need a bit of a change. So let's listen. So these still sound good, no doubt about it, but I'm looking for something even better. And I'm gonna show you how to change them quickly and efficiently. We're gonna start with the A string. We're gonna loosen the A string. So it's completely loose and then just pull on it till it pops out. Hold your finger underneath your fine tuner. This way when you pull it off, it doesn't dig into your instrument. Save your string for later. Take your Yarger Superior A, here it is. Unwind it. And we go in ball end first. Remember, keeping your finger underneath the fine tuner so not, as not to dent your viola. So you stretch. And now we're gonna find the little hole in your peg. Here's the peg and you have the holes. Make sure the hole is facing you. Take the end and we're gonna put it in the hole closest to the peg box. Put it through all the way through, get it sticking out a few millimeters and then as you turn you want the string to stay on the right side you don't want the string crossing and overlapping itself. You want it to be a nice, clean, I don't know if you can see this, but you want it to be right there. You want it to be nice and equal on the side of the, of the peg box. And pushing in. And tune it always a little bit higher because it's going to get flatter and flatter. So what I do is I take the old packet, take the old string, curl it up, and put it back into your packet, just like this. So in case you break an A string, you have it. You can also give it to someone, you can give it to a friend, you can put it on a second instrument. There's a lot you can do with a, an older string. Next, we're gonna change the D string. Woo! These are nice strings, really well built, handmade. Every string is handmade. And I just love them. And of course, in the beginning, they're going to sound a little metallic, just like any string, but luckily, these, they work in really quickly. So here we go again. We're going to put the viola against our belly, right? With, and we're going to do the D string, loosening the peg while pulling the string. Good. And it comes straight out. Here, it's in our, we're gonna take this out gently and we're gonna go ball end first with your finger underneath, ball goes in. You basically, here's the ball. You're gonna wanna just make sure it's nice and snug in this little niche. Pull it up, find the hole inside keeping it nice and tight the whole time with this finger. Wind on the same side of the peg. Pluck it into place. And always tune it a little bit higher. There we go. Here's what it looks like. So it's, we're talking about this peg right now. And see how they're beautifully wound they're not crossing over each other that's very important that actually helps keep them stable and keep them in one place so i have the old string and i have the packet where it came make a bit of a circle it goes right back goes right back into the packet and now i have 
a string for emergencies or to give away or to put on a second instrument. Let's see it like this. There it is. And if it's too far apart, you could just squeeze it back together. If it's too far apart, you could just squeeze it back together. To keep it nice and clean. Well, nice clean strings. So it's all a bit flat right now, so we're going to tune it up and see how it sounds. So in terms of any particular order of restringing your instrument, never take all four strings off at the same time. Actually never, if I were you, I wouldn't take more than one string off at a time. Because what you really want to do is you want to maintain the pressure that holds the sound posts. Also you don't want your bridge to move too much. Uh, the, the instrument basically works on pressure. So as long as there's some pressure being applied downwards, you should be fine. After having put new strings on your viola, you'll notice that the bridge is no longer 90 degrees to the back, which is what you really ideally want. So after having changed all your strings, we're going to want to adjust the bridge just slightly. So what we're going to do is put your viola in between your legs. Basically, you're clamping the front here. Put your fingers on the front, these two on the front, and holding in between the two outer strings, put your fingers in the middle. We're just going to kind of lean the bridge back, delicately leaning it back. Even. Ah, we can pull it back a little bit more. If, if, you're too, if you're really unsure, you can loosen up the outer strings, the A and the C, and just pulling back ever so gently, really, really gently. Don't fight your bridge. Just let it pull back by itself. Great. The bridge is pretty much 90 degrees to the back. This is what we're looking for, for ultimate, for ultimate sound. It's always better to tune the A a little bit higher so you can make your fine tuner lower so it doesn't dig into your wood. And look, I've already, I've already made that mistake when I was younger and I went too far in and I made some dents in the wood. So you don't want to do that. Let's hear what it sounds like with the new strings. Great, the ringing my viola sounds really, really good. We'll give them about a week and uh, we'll see how they sound then. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you later.